Neighborhood on Detroit's west side relieved to see this eyesore coming down tonight. The city stepped in to demolish what is left of a house on Stopel. The facade of the home was removed by an artist for a project overseas. Now, he reportedly hired a contractor to have the rest of it taken down, but that didn't happen. So the city's building authority intervened. The city plans to take legal action so taxpayers won't have to foot the bill for this particular demolition, but the mess is gone. Thank goodness. Yeah. And speaking of blighted homes, one man decided to take matters into his own hands to tear one down. Now, Ronnie Dahl is on Detroit's west side with his story tonight. You guys are like birds of a feather, you two. Getting things torn down. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, you come out into these neighborhoods and you find story after story. You know, at one time, believe it or not, this used to be a house, but it hasn't been a home in years because once it burned down, had no value, the owner walked away, it ended up with the Detroit Land Bank Authority. Now that the Detroit Land Bank Authority has it, nothing's changed. Still a blighted mess. Well, at least nothing's changed out here because downtown, the employees with the Land Bank, well, they got new digs. Steve Dixon lives on Sunnyside Street, Detroit's west side. His view isn't so bright and hasn't been in years. How long have you guys been looking at this? Oh, about eight years. Are you kidding me? No, it's been burnt forever. Long after flames destroyed the house, the charred remains sat and sat and sat. That is until Friday. It's just an eyesore. We had to get rid of it. That's when Dixon decided to do something about the burned out eyesore and knocked it down. Then he started hauling the debris to the curbside. Soon I joined in. It was a dirty job and a tiring job. This is exhausting. Yeah, a little bit. But a job that needs to be done. But where's the owner? The Detroit Land Bank Authority owns the burned out house on Sunnyside. And while neighbors have had to look at the eyesore for years, the employees have a nice view of Detroit's comeback. Their offices are here in the Guardian Building. Average rent? around $450,000 a year. Under the Duggan administration, the Detroit Land Bank Authority likes to brag about the job it's doing to address blight. Thousands of vacant homes are being torn down across the city. Just not on Sunnyside Street. When you're seeing all these houses being torn down around Detroit and yet this yeah. burned out shell still sits here, is it frustrating? Yes, it is. Very frustrating. Uh, you know, somebody has to do something about it, so I figured I'd do it. Because if you guys don't do it... Nope. Yeah, it ain't going to get done. So They had eight years to tear it down. Oh, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Great uh, effort by the neighbor, but let's just be honest here. It's going to take heavy equipment to finish this job. I reached out to Mayor Duggan's administration. No one was available to do an on-camera interview. I reached out to Craig Foley with the Detroit Land Bank Authority, and a short time ago he told me the old story they tell me a lot, and that is this is in the federal funds area, which means there's no money available to finish this job. It will sit unless neighbors get it done. Hey, a suggestion. Why don't you find a cheaper place for rent for those offices? There's another land bank home around the corner. That one should be really cheap. For now, reporting live on the city's west side, back to you. I like that man's gusto, though, <laughs> Ronnie. At least he's taking matters into his own hands. Hey, if you don't like blight in your neighborhood, you know? Get it together. It's amazing. It really is amazing, the spirit of the Detroit residents uh, in the neighborhoods. But we're going to continue to work this story, see if we can't figure out a way to get this done. I know we can get all the debris out here. They're going to send a city crew to pick that up, but we really need this job to be finished. At least that's something. All right, thanks a lot, Ronnie. Good work. Still to come here.